What is going on YouTube Instagram? Haven Lee sits here with another fragrance review and today we're going to talk about Floraiku. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So when you purchase this sample pack, it comes with 11 2 ml fragrances and so when you purchase it, it comes with this pamphlet that has all of the bottles and they also have the notes associated with them. By far, these are probably the best bottles I've ever seen made. Um, for a fragrance so i wanted to you know try them out to see if the actual fragrance lines up with the the packaging of it so i thought that would be interesting um each fragrance has about three notes and um the two that i want to discuss today is two of my favorites one being called between two trees and the other being called one umbrella for two so i want to start out talking about between two trees so the top note is grapefruit oil the middle note is Mott Absolute, and the uh, base note is Vinegar Oil. And so each fragrance comes with a, a little poem. And so what it says is that the owl is watching twilight between two trees. <sighs> Poetic. So let's talk about it. What does it smell like? Okay, so I can honestly say out of this whole pack, this one is the most unique. I've never smelled anything like this fragrance. Naturally, when you smell a new fragrance, your brain automatically tries to find something to associate it with. Um, I couldn't associate it with another fragrance that I've smelled in the past, but I could associate it with like a feeling. So what's funny is that this fragrance, it's, it reminds you of Christmas or it reminds me of Christmas, but it's not necessarily a winter scent. It can be worn year round, but it's almost like you're bringing Christmas year round and Christmas is the most wonderful time of the year. So that would be great. So the way I picture this fragrance is that, you know, you're, you're in a log cabin in Colorado or Tennessee and uh, you're meeting with family. And this isn't a family that you dislike at family reunion. This is like you're, you're close in the immediate family and some extensions of it. And you guys are meeting together for the first time in a while and, you know, and, you know, it's, it's cold out and uh, you got, we're, we're all playing board games, we're playing cards, we're by the fire. You know, we have our German Shepherd, we decided to bring our animals and like everybody just having a good time. And so that's what it smells like to me. It's, it's very, it has a spice to it, but like a Christmas spice to it. Um, it's, it's an amazing scent. Um, I think out of the whole sample pack, this fragrance, I think it projects the best and it may even last the longest out of all of them. It's, it's just completely an amazing scent. And um, honestly, it's, I, I have a hard time deciding if I purchase, whether I would purchase between two trees or whether I purchase one umbrella for two, which I'm gonna explain. So let's talk about one umbrella for two, which is an amazing scent. So one umbrella for two, uh, the notes are as follows. Uh, Black Current Absolute is in the top note. Uh, Dramitra tea is in the middle note and cedar oil is in the base note. Now, let me tell you about this fragrance. Let me tell you about the very first time I smelled it. <sighs> Actually, I'm gonna spray some on. I just can't resist. I gotta spray it on. So. <sighs> oh gosh. So the very first time that I smelled this fragrance, I automatically said, it goes in my top two all time, non-negotiable. And that's a lot to say for something that you, you know, just smelled initially. This fragrance automatically goes in my top two of all time. And I've smelled a lot of fragrances and here's why. So I, I don't own any gourmand fragrances. I'm not big on gourmand fragrances. I think a lot of them smell, you know, synthetic, you know, cheap, manufactured. Um, it's not something that I, I, I buy or I purchase. This is a gourmand fragrance that not only would I buy, but it goes in my top two all time, easily. So when you first spray it on, I smell like a, a, like a coffee type of almond type of chocolate type of note. It's ridiculous. When you first spray it on, after about five to 10 minutes, it smells like it smells like a like a berry pie, like it, it. But it smells real. It smells authentic. It smells. It. it it's so hard to describe. But it, it smells so. 
so genuine. The, the complete opposite of synthetic is what it smells like. It, it, it's probably the ultimate gourmand. It's, I'll put it like this. Anybody that knows me knows my, my number one all time is Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait. I can't be convinced that, that that's not the best smelling fragrance in my opinion. It has the best, you know, sillage. I get the most compliments from it. It's just, it's a showstopper. Literally this fragrance rivals that one. It's, it's, it's one of a kind and it's remarkable. So let's talk about it. Is it worth $350? Well, I'll put it like this. If you were to blindfold me and you know, put this fragrance up to my nose and say, you know what, we're how much is this fragrance? I would probably say this fragrance is around $250. Maybe 275. It smells that great. It's that top of the line. It's that top notch. It's that unique. It's that gourmand. I would say it's about $275 maximum. So I think that. So let's say let's say 250. 250 to 275. So obviously the price of all of Floraku's fragrances are about $350. So I think that extra $100 is the packaging. And the packaging obviously is remarkable. So as a you know fragrance connoisseur you have to decide is $350 worth that extra $100 to me this smells so good that I would I would pay $350 point blank period so what's crazy about these two fragrances which again these are my favorite two out of all 11 I do have a top five that I'm going to release to you guys later but these are my top two that I want to focus on so this morning, I was on Floraku's website and I wanted to get a little bit more information on these two fragrances. And so uh, Between Two Trees was meant to be a shadow fragrance, meaning that it's supposed to go under any of these other fragrances. And when I read that, I was like, there's no way because this fragrance smells so complete. It smells like it doesn't need anything. It smells intentional, like it was meant to be a standalone fragrance. Because when you think about layering fragrances, like let's say Joe Malone, for example, when you think about layering fragrances, they're usually soft, subtle, uh, they don't last long, and you wouldn't necessarily wear them, you know, alone. But it's the complete opposite. This is a, like, Between Two Trees is a standalone fragrance, period. But let me tell you. So when I read that, I immediately said to myself, okay, Between Two Trees was that cabin with the, you know, the family, the Christmas, the spice. So why would I not want to have grandma in that kitchen baking a blueberry pie? So the first thing I did when I woke up, I sprayed on between two trees and I sprayed on um, one umbrella for two. And it was the perfect match. It literally puts that blueberry pie in that kitchen amongst your family. It is amazing. And it's, 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 it's one of a kind. So let's talk about it. So if I were to choose one fragrance out of this collection, it would be one of these two. And honestly, I couldn't really, um, I couldn't really, it would just depend on the day. It would have to be a sporadic decision, but it would be out of these two. One day I may say, you know what, I'm gonna get one umbrella for two. The next minute I may say, you know what, I think I'm gonna choose between two trees. They're that close. So, so whichever one I would choose initially, I would buy the second one after, whenever I had the money to purchase it. So, and the reason for that is not only are they great, you know, separate, together they're amazing. So it will almost be like I'm buying three fragrances. I'll have the one umbrella for two, just to wear. I'll have between two trees, just to wear. And if I want to combine them, that creates another fragrance. So for me, that would be the best bet. So literally, guys, you have to try this pack. Or if not, you guys definitely have to try these two. I will release a top five from this list. But for now, you guys have to, if nothing else, you have to try one umbrella for two and you have to try between two trees. They're amazing. Um, I would say that these fragrances last about five to six hours. So you have you would have to decide, you know, if, if that's worth $350. Um, but again, um, I believe that between two trees has a little bit more longevity because it's just that type of fragrance. And when you combine that with uh, one umbrella for two, then you got about you got about seven to eight hours. So that's something to consider. Um, I hope I was able to, you know, shed light on this pack. I definitely recommend you guys buy this. Um, and I can't wait to release my top five from this line. So I think that'll be it for now. And leave your comments below. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Follow me on Instagram at Havenly Sense. 
and I'll see you guys another time. Thanks guys. Yeah, so what's crazy about it is my number one was uh, one umbrella for two, but her number one was between two trees. My number two was between two trees. Her number two was one umbrella for two. So they're that close. So yeah, leave the age. That's it. Yeah, yeah. How long is that video?